Okay, so now I'm going to start talking about some techniques that were designed to help people manage high conflict people in any situation. And what's exciting about these techniques is you can use these, but you can also teach your clients and they really appreciate it because these are skills they can use with their family, their workplace, their neighbor, etc. So let's start with the idea that high conflict people often look like this. Remember the corpus callosum, we talked about it yesterday, being smaller for borderline clients. Research shows smaller for histrionic clients as well. And frankly, I find this technique works often with narcissistic personality, paranoid, etc. So what we often see is they're emotionally upset and they're not thinking. The logic is offline. So what we've learned is we need to basically do two steps. We need to calm their right brain first and then engage them in problem solving. And so, and, and this is, you know, if you like uh, Daniel Siegel, um, Alan Shore, this is stuff I've learned from, well, I went to a seminar with Alan Shore and I've read some of Daniel Siegel's books. But the idea is that emotions, we really need to deal differently. Don't rush to analyzing what's going on. You want to connect with their emotions. And so we want to calm the right brain. In many ways, the language of the right brain is empathy, attention, and respect. And the right brain seems to have a threshold question with each person they meet, and that is, am I safe with you? Are you a friend or enemy? not a friend friend, but just friendly or dangerous to me. Once they get a sense that you're friendly, they can calm down and listen to the content of what you say. But until that threshold question gets answered, they have a hard time thinking. They're all ready to defend themselves. One thing we know, high conflict people are chronically defensive. They're always feeling attacked, they defend and they attack other people. So we're going to talk first how to calm the right brain. And here's some of what seems to help. You having a calm tone of voice. This seems to be one of the most important things in managing the emotions of high conflict clients. If you're calm, they feel comfortable with you, they can become calm. One of the things we've all learned is if you tell somebody, calm down, that's not what they do. <laughs> So instead of telling them, be what you want them to be. And as I mentioned yesterday, mirror neurons. Don't mirror them. Stay calm, matter of fact, confident, and they will mirror you. And I've experienced this as a therapist. I've experienced this in psychiatric hospitals with people with schizophrenia, people with head injuries. I think this really works with most mental illnesses is you're calm, they can be calm. And also confident. We can deal with this, and you might not know how to deal with it, but you can say, you know, let's talk about this, and maybe I'll do some research on how I can help you with this issue. So that there's a sense of confidence. This is something that they're really looking for. Who can be stable while I'm up and down? So, of course, avoid personal attacks. And part of why I say that, therapists generally don't personally attack their clients. That's a forget about it. <laughs> but you can teach your clients this. Um, now, so the idea is being calm, confident, firm, avoid personal attacks, avoid threats. You know, one thing people realize, sometimes they say, well, if, if you keep doing that, I'm going to fire you. Now, I don't know how many of you have fired your clients. Um, if this is something you need to transfer them, talk it through, take your time. This needs to be step by step. Changes, relationship changes especially need to be step by step. Avoid logical arguments in times of stress. So don't go to analyzing the problem. Just stick with um, 
giving them an ear statement, empathy, attention, and respect. And also avoid negative feedback. Like I said, you can teach this to your clients. This is a method you can use and they can use also. Now one caution about this is if your client's in an abusive relationship, this may not be advised. You want them to use practical skills to set boundaries and perhaps get out of the relationship, at least protect themselves. But in most relationships, this really helps because people get escalated so quickly today. This is a way of calming people.